how to kill the mighty empire of Ayurveda. Here situates the renowned house of tip-top furniture, the botanical haven for trees. Top invites you to this grand fiesta of Swayambara. Feast your eyes with this gallow and select any of these princes of your choice. Seize this unique opportunity and make your life sublime with prudence. No emperor is better than these celebrities who have already won the Ashwamedha. They are noble, venerable and dignified. Let's welcome the great master who has touched the hearts of trees so that we know the rich heritage and their country of origin. Why not the serene land where the cool breeze comes up through the steep mountain passes shedding enticements on the zenith? What to be told now is the story of these crowned princes and their great travel from the greeneries of Wayanad to hug the misty winds of Munar. My wonderful land of Kerala. God's splendid gift of peace. You stretch the curtains blue on this lovely Sakya mountain peaks. The hills and valleys and flowering boughs bless our hearts with honors to thrive. On your sandy banks of streams, stay with those darling seasons for. Stay huge in shades of trees that blossom smile in mirth and love. A song that flows through wild reeds brings us worthy hopes and bliss. <laughs> The sky above blushes fast and keeps a reddened face that glows around. When at the roaming clouds lies this great and wonderful land of joy. Oh, our sweet land, the gift of Mother Nature, our salutes to thee, our salutes to thee. Sakhe nil tirashil 
തീർത്ത നൃത്യതേ മലയാളമേ The teak that comes from Nilampu forest in Malappuram district. Though it seems that teak is rough and hard outside, it is really smooth inside. Hence, it is known as the pride of carpenters. The botanical name of teak is Tectrona grandis. The family is Verbenaceae. The vast empire of teak stretches from the Aravalli mountain ranges to the whole of South India up to Kanyakumari. It grows in abundance on alluvial soil and at places that having rainfall between 2000 to 4000 mm. Kanoli Plot This is the oldest plantation in the world. This plantation was started in 1840 and completed in 1855 by Mr. H. V. Kanoli, the then district collector of Estwile Malabar. This is the largest and biggest teak tree in this plantation. Parambi Kulam in Palaka district. This teak has a history of certain myths and truth. The Adivasis of Kerala have considered this mighty one as a holy tree and they named it Kannimara. In 1994, the government of India honored this tree with Mahavriksha Ruskar. Inscriptions of this teak tree standing majestically surrounded by the cassia trees that stretch their flowering branches are kept in the teak museum at William Thode in Nilambu. Here exists a lab that was responsible for the cuteness and glamour of these suitland princes who have fulfilled their yajna. When a royal sculpture has supplied his brilliance and talents, these dignitaries took forms as we see them now. In tip top, the stock comprises mainly of fully grown teak, mahogany, rosewood etc collected from different forest depots of Kerala and those imported from countries like Myanmar and Africa.
Here, you see a huge mahogany being cut by machines. These trees are now transferred to the machines by cranes. and so cutting. Proportionally cut wooden blocks are now taken to seasoning plant. For seasoning, only one type of woods are used at a time. This is a seasoning plant. No furniture is made here without treating the woods in the seasoning plants. The wood blocks are placed in equal distance in layers and then the humidity is removed at high temperature by the process of hot water generation. It is done by placing the logs across and is separated by putting reapers in between. Logs are again placed flat one by one. Thus, logs of distinct sizes are seasoned. The humidity in each wooden log is distinct. According to the density of humidity, these wooden logs are treated in the season plant for about 200 to 1440 hours. When the high temperature passes through the gap between the reapers, the humidity in the wooden log is removed. In a kin, 250 to 500 cubic feet of wooden logs can be seasoned in this way. In tip top, two such types of kin work at a time. Only wood of full grown trees will be subjected to the seasoning process. Otherwise, the logs will become useless under the heavy temperature in the seasoning plant. It is scientifically established that 10 to 12 percent of humidity should be retained in the logs as they are taken out of seasoning plant. Added to this is the moisture absorbed from the atmosphere when the furniture reaches the polished finish. As such, the finished furniture is allowed to retain a maximum humidity of 15 percent. During the treatment of wooden logs in the seasoning plant, about 15 to 25 percent of them become useless. Furniture is made only from the remaining wood and strong woods. These woods can withstand temperature from 55 degree to 60 degree Celsius. Therefore, this furniture can survive in our living conditions. The secret of the strength of tip-top export quality furniture lies in this. Thanks to the strict and non-compromising long process of quality control, TipTop can give the customers lifelong guarantee for the craft work. The artistic skill that goes in power with the changing times and trends, this is the place where our eyes and soul stay in unison.
One hectare of forest land can store 30,000 gallons of water and is termed as the best water reservoir of nature. Rose oak trees shed leaves in summer. It grows well in areas of 100 to 1500 meter altitude. It takes 150 to 200 years to get strong with good hard core. Rosewood trees are strong and beautiful and are seen abundant in Vayanar, Parambikulam, Attapadi and Mona forest ranges. Rosewood grows well in fertile alluvial soil on river banks. It grows slowly in the beginning, but as years go by, its growth becomes faster. When it is fully grown up, it will be very strong and majestic in appearance. Its botanical name is Galbunia latifolia. The family is leguminous, subfamily. Papillionaceae. Rosewood possesses high ability to withstand scorching heat and can even survive forest fires. The core of the tree is somewhat darkish red color. It is strong, attractive and durable. Dreams that are molten rosu. No viewers will take back their eyes and soul from this dreamland of superb wooden crafts. Behind this graceful and marvelous works of craft is the hand of a great maestro in art. The wood is smoothened by applying German technology. This facilitates the furniture to have its surface even. The customers can watch here the real form of their furniture before it is polished. Tip Top encourages the customers to visit its factory when other branded firms never allow such visits. Satiating the wishes of customers is the goal of Tip Top and it is a strong bond built by Tip Top between generations. Most of the different varieties of flora are seen in the tropical regions with high humidity and in rainforest areas and also at other places where trees shed their leaves. India is the only country where all of these genres are seen in abundance. Mahagani was brought to India in the year 1872 from West Indies. The age of Mahagani in Kerala cannot be ascertained simply from its huge form. Mahogany seen in places having good water irrigation facilities will grow fast like any other trees, but they may lack hard coal. The mahogany's in hilly areas, though they seem to be very lean, 
are stronger than those grow in marshy areas. It takes about 100 years for a mahogany to become a good tree with hard coal. In tip top, only grown up trees are accepted for manufacturing furniture. What you see here is a stock of wood cut down from grown up trees collected from natural forests. Anticipating the future requirements, Tip Top has acquired a large stock of good variety of timbers. As such, there won't be any shortage of wood in Tip Top. As seen elsewhere, Tip Top does not make furniture in a Haribari. It is because Tip Top is very strict in manufacturing furniture adhering to the principles of accurate measurement and duration of processing together with keenness to maintain the required quality of the furniture made. It never takes orders that cannot fulfill the required quality level. This attitude is the unique heritage of Tip Top. This huge tree is called paddock. It is generally called as redwood. Its origin is African Congo. In olden times, paddock from Andaman were commonly used in Kerala. The furniture made in mahogany must have very strong and hard supports to withstand the weight of the mainframes. Paddock's importance lies here. It is brought to Tutukoran by ship from Africa and from Tutikorin, it travels by road to reach the factory of Tip Top. In the factory, this very giant is transformed to various parts of furniture. What makes Tip Top distinguished from others is its unending search for satiating the dreams by ascertaining the number of finishes required for their pieces of work. Total devotion and dedication are given here to make the dreams come true. It's not the matter of time taken for the completion of a task that comes, it is satisfaction. And satisfaction is the real goal. In olden days, our predecessors used to obtain consent from the trees before they are felled. It is said, Yate Pume Vikrami Chipram Tadapi Rohatu. Man cannot live on this earth keeping himself aloof from trees, and this very bond starts from the air we breathe. It is the proper and intelligent use of the trees by tip top that builds the same bond with the customers. Tip 
craft excellent furniture it needs good planning observation keenness calculation and also the will to provide the required processing time the production of furniture begins with a computer designing this computer lab is the central point of artwork before the furniture reaches the hands of a customer it undergoes various stages of processing in a modern technology based environment and each stage transits to another through high tech machines these machines play an important role in imparting accuracy and uniformity in the manufacture Firstly, slab planing. Then drawing. Mini resaw cutting. Panel saw cutting. Motor saw. Tenning. The earlier process of repeated measuring for accuracies, for want of satisfaction, is now done in full containment of craftsmen by applying the German technology in tip top. Sanding. Tip top does not allow the factory surroundings to be polluted. Here, everything is well taken care of. The dust particles are cast off 
without putting any hazards to our fellow beings. Molding Carving This is an example of the high aesthetic performance of Tip Top Spreeboot It is a modern scientific lab having technical marvels. Furniture is made fine and smooth here. Not even minute dust particles are allowed in to settle on the finished furniture. The unwanted dust particles will be absorbed by this water curtain. The spray drawn by the blower are allowed to hit on the water curtain and flows out with the water. This process prohibits any impediments from settling on the furniture. The merit to this perfection of furniture that comes out of factory goes to the scientifically installed spray boot.
Though wooden blocks were scientifically seasoned and polished, they will not have perfect finishing due to the presence of moisture in them. The finished products may lose its charm and pleasantness in due course. That's why Tip Top gives high importance to proper seasoning. Only foreign forms are used here to maintain quality. The fabrics are of high quality material. The designs which are drawn by the computer are transformed into brilliant furniture to reach the side of the customers, thereby fulfilling their dreams. It is thus the different types of polished parts transform themselves into magnificent handicrafts to reveal its identity and existence. Materialization of dream is the result of the unceasing hard work of craftsmen. What Tip Top says is not an exaggeration. That's why it always gives customers the lifelong guarantee for the quality of the wood used for making the furniture. Discipline, dedication and will to serve are the motto of TikTok. The great man of vision who stands strong with confidence insists on the unequivocal bond between man and trees. And he cannot allow anything that thwarts his vision and goal. These awards are proof of his insights. He thinks that there should not creep any gap between the consumer and the craftsman. The same cooperation between the customers and the management is seen in the relationship between management and staff. These entries of honored workmen are exhibited here very proudly. The very same is the living proof of the human bond built in Tip Top. First of all, we must know the value of trees. A tree that grows for 50 years produces oxygen for a value of 5.3 lakh of rupees. It retains the fertility of the soil to a tune of 6.4 lakhs. Along with this, it controls soil erosion worth 6.4 lakhs. Additionally, it brings in pollution control for about 10.5 lakhs of rupees. Apart from this, it offers food and shelter to numerous birds and animals and gives flowers and fruits to us. How many of us know that a tree has got this much of value? Alas, who cares to think of it?
The Forest Department of Kerala has got plan and schedule in felling the teak trees growing in their plantations. The weak teaks that are planted in between at 2.5 meter distance will be slaughtered in the 6th, 10th, 18th, 30th and 44th years whereas the teaks that are planted at a distance of 2 meter are chopped at 4th, 8th, 12th, 18th, 26th and 40th years. The furniture made of teak that is below 55 years old will not have any strength and life. Slaughtering of weak trees is done to allow the safe growth of good and strong teak trees. The low quality trees are used for fencing and for making electric posts. It is sad to say that some people make furniture out of this poor quality woods. Simply pronouncing the name of teak, rosewood, mahogany, etc. will not make any sense if there is no quality. Those who take decisions the moment they hear these names must realize about the cheating beneath it. The wooden locks that have no core or pith will lack strength and longevity. Streams are holy water bestowed upon the dry land by the rocks. And the trees provide green cover and shades to earth. These are boons of nature. Life will be worth if we use the trees in proper and dignified manner. House is the materialization of dream of a person. It is a shelter to him. In a house, there should be peace and prosperity. To achieve these, there should be proper planning and intellectual approach and attitude. This dream house is made in par with modern architectural concept. The chemistry behind the construction of this visual grandeur is the uncompromising attitude with respect to the above architectural school of thought. This beautiful abode is the result of artistic skill and will in amalgamating the hereditary and indigenous discipline of architecture with that of latest and modern architectural designs. It is in the reception room of a house where love and dignity exhibit. The furniture in the reception room shall be installed in such a way that they please our eyes and impart harmony and calm in our hearts. The decision to select the type of furniture whether it is teak, rosewood or mahogany must be at the sole discretion of the consumer. This is the dreamland created by Tip Top to make your dreams true. We feel content when we are glad, is it not? The very sight of the dining table and chairs will make the guests pleased. The mental health of people who take food daily at a magnificent table with cosy and elegant chairs will improve tremendously. The walls are witnesses of our intimate passions and emotions. The panel walls that are mold from hardcore bring peace and liveliness to the inmates and weave love in between the partners as well. As per Hindu school of thought, reddish pale black color will remove the ill feeling and brings in positive thoughts in people. It increases our pride and self-confidence. According to Indian architectural concepts, 
presence of high quality vessels and furniture will please the Hindu deities. Golden color stimulates love and affection and gives peace and harmony in life. A modern but simple kitchen thanks to the latest techniques available now. Select whatever you want to please your hearts. This is Varikesheri Mana. Rich in architectural wonders carved in wood. It is a treat to eyes and proclaims prosperity as well. This is the main entrance. It is called Rajadwara. On the doors are engraved Gajalakshmi and Kumbhalata. The fantastic skill behind these unique crafts are seen in the practice of Yavamana, which is a measuring system based on grains. Forest acts as a sieve against dust and industrial pollution. One hectare forest helps to settle dust of 30 to 35 tons that fills the atmosphere. Therefore, it is a necessity that we must grow more trees around our houses. Planting of trees must be done on the northern side of the house. Trees like Neem and Asoka can be grown here. They provide clean atmosphere and also brings in peace and joy in our mind. The difference seen in the geography of North India and South India are seen also in the corresponding architectures. The North Indians follow the book named Manasasara, whereas the South Indians follow the book Mayamatham. Architecture means the congregation of nature in respect of geographical position of a place, direction of wind and access to water. A home must have easy access to natural resources. Tip Top accepts and agrees with the architectural concepts promulgated by our ancestors and is keen to apply the essence and the cultural heritage in all respects. Chairman Juma Masjid, the first Muslim mosque in India. It was built in 629 AD. The rich heritage of this beautiful mosque is retained by the presence of strong and core roots of high quality. This place of worship built in wood is the living example of the rich architectural heritage of Kerala. The mosque was renovated in 11th century. But no change was done in the sanctum sanctuary of the worship place. People of other religions conduct iftar feasts in this mosque which is renowned for its secular nature. This is Malayatur Church. Ishwara Sarvabhutanam. 
ഹൃദയശോർജന തൃഷ്ടതി പ്രാമയൻ സർവഭൂതാനി യന്ത്രാരൂഠാനി മായയ ഉടമാളൂർ ദ ചർച്ച് ഓഫ് സെയിന്റ് അൽഫോൺസ അതർ കൾച്ചേഴ്സ് ദറ്റ് ടു ക്രൂട്ട്സ് ഇൻ കേരള ഓൾസോ ട്രൈ ടു ഫ്ലറിഷ് ഇൻ ഹാമണി വിത്ത് എ നേച്ചർ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് വുഡ് ഇസ് ദ മെയിൻ പെക്യൂലിയാരിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദീസ് ചർച്ചസ് ദീസ് ആർ സ്പെസിമെൻസ് ഓഫ് കൾച്ചറൽ ഓറിയൻറ്റേഷൻ ഓഫ് കേരള ആൻഡ് അവർ റിലീജിയസ് ടോളറൻസ് ഗുരുവായൂർ ടെമ്പിൾ ദ ടച്ച് ഓഫ് എക്സലൻസ് ഇൻ ദ യൂസ് ഓഫ് വുഡ് for the construction of temples in south india is unique the line forms and the tandava dance sequences are carved in almost all structures of the temple udira maliga it is owned by the royal family of travancore it is situated adjacent to the sri patmanabh swami temple and stands as a magnificent example of the rich sculpturing heritage of kerala the whole building is molded from teak and rosewood tip top is committed to maintain and recreate the rich heritage of kerala as the furniture is made from century old trees propped by strict quality measures the furniture built by tip top will have long life and strength this is why tip top furniture is passed through generation to generation These imperials are assembled here to get involved in the majestic and ceremonial Swayamvara. This grand occasion is brought to you by Tip Top. and we welcome our dear viewers warmly to the stage we take this opportunity to proclaim that we have organized similar festivals and celebrations all over kerala for the convenience of our dear customers tip top furniture kannu tip top furniture code code tip top furniture pendul manna tip top furniture kunnamkulam tip top furniture kotayam tip top furniture tiruvanantapuram tip top furniture international muttam ernakulam tip top furniture kotakkal
make your life joyous and dignified by acquiring these crowned princes. With 25 prestigious years to boast of, Tiptop is continuing its Ashwamedha. Be Tiptop with the furniture that makes your dreams true. The throne is yours. Take it and live happily hereafter. The Swayamara of dream houses purified in these sacred fires are waiting to be completed. The skills and craftsmanship dissolve into one another to bring out these marvels of art. The sky is blue, but the dusk is crimson and everything is in unison. The maestro has touched his magic wand. The woods now take their lively forms. That is craft, artistic marvels for our eyes to see. O oh, King, hail to thee. Your Yetna has been fulfilled. Come you now on thy golden chariot, and our fears are gone for good.